Hello and welcome to this short educational video on the Gale-Shapley algorithm for stable matching. The information in this video is drawn from the sources referenced in the information box below. First off, a short introduction. The Gale-Shapley algorithm is a solution to the stable marriage problem, and we must understand the problem to fully understand the solution. In the stable marriage problem, we want to create a set of n pairs using two sets of n people, with one person from each set appearing in each pair. Each individual may only be paired once, and as such, the result will be a direct one-to-one -one mapping between the two sets of people. The real complexity of this problem arises from individual preferences each person has about who they would like to be paired with from the other set. The challenge is to create a set of matchings for which there are no two people who would prefer to be with each other than their current matchings respectively. To help understand the problem and the algorithm which provides a solution to it, here is an example. We have two groups of people, the males A, B, C, D, E, and the females L, M, N, O, P. We need to match all of them in a purely monogamous and, due to the constraints of the problem, heterosexual fashion. For the purposes of this example, and in keeping with the theme of the original problem, this shall be called marriage. As you can see, each person has a list next to their name containing all people from the other set, in order of preference. So, for example, person A would most likely be paired with person O, followed by person M, and so on. It is important that this ranking is complete so that each person has a specified preference for each person in the opposite set. Note that it is not necessary for preferences to be reciprocated. For example, while person O is person E's top choice, E is the least favourable match from O's perspective. The Gale-Shapley algorithm itself is fairly simple. To begin, it is expected that each person has a strict ranking of members of the opposite group. One of the two sets is chosen to make what we will call proposals. While choosing either set will produce a stable matching, the matching produced may be different, but that is something we will look at later. Because in Western culture it is traditionally the males who propose to the females, we will choose the male set to be the proposers. The next part of the algorithm is a looping section. One person from the proposing group, in our case the males, who is not already engaged will propose to his most preferable choice who has not yet rejected him. The female that has been proposed to must decide whether to accept or reject the proposal. If she has not previously received an offer, then she will accept. If she has received a previous offer, but the first offer is still more preferable, then she will reject. If she has received a previous offer, but the new offer is more favourable, then she will jilt or reject the previous proposer and accept the new one. Note that it does not matter in what order the males make their proposals, as the stable matching will be the same. This section will loop until all people in the proposing group, and thus all people in the other group, are engaged. At this point, the pairs have been finalised and the people in the pairs are married. Here is an example of the algorithm working in practice. Firstly, A proposes to his most preferable option, O. As O has no better options for the time being, she accepts, and A and O are engaged. Next, B proposes to his most preferable option, P, and as she has not received any better offers, she also accepts. C proposes to M, and she also accepts, due to lack of any other offer. D then proposes to P, however, P has already received a better offer from B, and so she rejects D. Finally, E proposes to O, but as O has already received a better offer from A, she turns him down. At this point, A, B and C are already engaged, and so do not attempt any more proposals. D still has no fiancé, and so proposes to his next most preferable choice, who has not rejected him, M. M prefers D to her previous offer from C, and so she dumps C and is now engaged to D. E proposes to L, and as she has not previously received an offer, she accepts. C is now the only male who has yet to find a partner after being dumped by M. He proposes to P, then L, then O, but is turned down by all three, as they have better options. Finally, he proposes to N, who accepts, as she has not received any offers thus far. All of the males are now engaged, and as there is no need for any more proposals, the current pairings are married with the final pairs being AO, BP, CN, DM, and EL. All people have been successfully paired, 
and while certain individuals do not get their preferred choices, the matching is stable. We know this because if a man preferred a woman to his current match, he would already have proposed to her, and she would have had to reject him, meaning that she cannot prefer him to her current match. As an interesting aside, if we set the woman's group to be the proposers, then we end up with a slightly different matching. This matching is still stable, but the trend in this example, as in the majority of examples, is that the matching is optimal from the proposer's perspective. Notice that in this matching, M and O got a more favourable outcome than previously, while A and D ended up with a less favourable outcome. We can see that each member of the proposing group can at most propose to each member of the other group only once, as they cannot propose to those who have previously rejected them. All proposals either end in provisional acceptance, which means that no more proposals need to be made, or rejection, whether this is at the time or delayed until a better offer comes along. If there are n members in each group, the computational complexity of the algorithm is at most n squared, and in practice will often be less. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have found it useful and informative. For any additional information regarding the Gale Shapley algorithm, please take the time to view the sources in the information box below. Thank you.